Well, hello, Internet. I thought I'd make a video this evening and um, show y'all how, how I edit a bird picture in uh, On One Photo Raw, and I use Topaz to do my final touches, but I do most everything in On One Photo Raw. And, um, yeah, I don't do much to them. I clean up the noise a little bit and maybe do a mask here and there and, you know, lighten the shadows and... Most edits, bird picture edits, maybe take five or ten minutes at the most. I take my time and play with them. I like editing. Um, so let's go on the computer and I'll show you how I do it. Let's head that way. Okay, here we are in On One Photo Raw, and I got some pictures stashed in my Need to Process folder here. And I was thinking of maybe doing this nut hatch picture. We got us a nut hatch here. It's a little bit blown out here. I don't know if I can save that. Bunch of noise. I shot it with the OM1 Mark II with the 150 to 400 Pro lens. We got ISO 3200. Highlights look a bit blown out, but let's see what we can do with this litter feller. I'm going to go up here and hit the edit button. And the first thing I normally do as I go into the denoiser and I get rid of this noise that's the first thing I do before I do anything so I'm not editing noise and it cleaned it up pretty good might have to touch it up in topaz when I get this done hit apply over here let the denoiser do its thing and we got us a nice clean picture then I go into the basic edits edit the the whole global picture and um yeah that's what i normally do next i'm gonna raise the contrast a little bit and then i'm gonna drop the highlights down see if i can save that blown out spot look at that look at that and let me get my um up here i'm gonna get my histogram working so i can kind of play with it a little bit and raise get it to where it needs to be get the exposure about right yeah it looks like it's about blown out but i'm going to lower the highlights again but i know tricks that can save that uh kind of there's still information there so i'm going to save it and i'm going to take the pull the black levels down here until they just start to clip in the darkest spots of the photo right up there in the right okay there's the blacks where they need to be lower the highlights all the way now what i'm gonna do is crop this picture i'm gonna get rid of this stuff right here these leaves sticking in there distracting you and get rid of the end of that stick so what i'm gonna do is drop this to about right there I like this bright spot here, so I'm going to try to save that. I'm going to pull this up here. We're blowing this nut hatch up, making them bigger. Get more of a close up here. Get his eye about level with that line there. I think that's a good crop there. Let's see what we got. Oh, yeah, look at that. Now I can see a little better right in here. What I'm going to do now is there's this tool right here. I, it's a masking, super select masking brush. I call it the magic wand. But I'm going to go ahead and click that. And I'm going to make a mask on this bird, the leg, the stick. And I'm going to... Go ahead and add some contrast to that up here. Add some dynamic contrast. And the first thing I'm going to do is shut that masking tool off. Go up in my masking module and I'm going to copy that mask. And then I'm going to lower the contrast. It looks a little bit too crunchy for me, so I'm going to drop that dynamic contrast down a little bit okay now what i'm gonna do is go in and add another filter a tone enhancer 
And I'm going to see what, uh, there, the high, I'm going to darken the highlights just on the bird and that stick. And you can already see, watch when I click it, you can already see it's pulled out a lot more detail in that spot that was blown out. But I'm going to go ahead and darken that, but I'm going to copy the mask onto that. So it's just doing it on the bird and the stick. And I think we got us, we just saved that nut hatch. All the details in there's a little bit of lost information right there, but I think we're good to go. And maybe I'm going to add a sunshine filter to the back to brighten the back back up to get that histogram up a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and brighten the back up. And I'm going to go ahead and copy the mask and then invert it so it's on the background and not on the bird and the stick. There, you see that? And there we go. I think that's about all I'm going to do to that. And, um, yeah, I'm going to go down the bottom here where that blue check mark is and save that edit. And then I'm going to go up here and hit export. And what this does is it takes this raw file and exports it to a JPEG on my desktop. And it should end up right here. But what it automatically does is it automatically opens back up in Topaz. I take another look at the picture and if it needs a little bit of sharpening, I do the final sharpening in Topaz. And let me show you how this works. I'm going to go ahead and export it. Takes a second or two to export. There it goes. Boom. And it should open right up in Topaz. And there we go. I don't know if you can see it on the YouTube video, but there's still a little bit of noise in these dark spots and in the background a little bit. So what I normally do is I take this AI clear filter and topaz and when you click on it when it adds it to the photo it's like 100 percent that's way too much it's way too over sharpened so what i normally do is i drop this all the way down to zero and then start creeping it up until that bird gets nice and sharp and most of that noise goes away and it's usually around in between 42 and 66 where I end up and it's looking pretty sharp about 54 and that's where I'm going to keep it and I'm going to go up here and click the check up here and there we have a finished bird photo and it's on my desktop right here let's take a look at it and that's it beautiful little nut hatch so that didn't take too long that's pretty much how I edit all my bird photos I hope, hope you enjoyed it, and um, talk to you later. Bye.